Haha, -ha, cool. I think I'm recording that. <laughs> See, that was a really nice start. I just want to share with you something, okay? Here. Am I waiting at the bus stop, okay? And here's the way I'm waiting. Stop us. No, not really wearing much clothes. It turned out to be a really lovely day. Uh, I don't have any shorts, so I just rolled up my clothes a bit and took off my t-shirt. <laughs> it's funny, you do actually get quite a lot of attention this way, but I don't mind. It's, like... <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> but anyway, while I'm doing this, check out the healthiness of my skin. It's looking like I've been putting, um, you already know from the other videos, I've been putting fresh juices and um, flaxseed water on my face and everything. While I'm just talking about this though, I'd like to talk about how free children are. Just a few more minutes before the bus. I just want to talk about children, how free spirited, how they follow their feelings. Unlike adults, they're very spontaneous. They hop, their attention hops from one place to another uh, of something that's happening in the present moment. They, they see stuff that the adults don't really see and they suddenly go from one place to another. They get interested and excited about different things and then they go over to different places and different people really quickly and easily and freely. And they're not worried about like what other people are going to think of them or judge them, which is beautiful. This is the way adults should, should live in my opinion. And right now as an example, here I am topless, okay, but I'm just so happy in the sun. I love the feeling of the sun on my skin. I love it. I love it. It's so nice. And I'm actually, when people, a big group, big group of um, French people just walked by before I started recording, uh, like maybe teenagers, and a lot of them, a few of them were glancing and looking over, because I guess it is a bit, a bit different for the city to be seeing someone like exposing a lot of skin, just like sitting on, sitting for the bus. But the thing is, if this was a different country, and uh, or beside the beach, or just if it was like Tenerife or something, and you saw someone topless, nobody would look twice at you. But just because you're in the minority here, you know, people will look. Not that they're looking in a bad way, or judgmental, like angry or annoyed way, but they will look, and for me that's okay. In, in the past I was more um, sensitive to uh, being bothered how people like thought or judged me. But now I'm not at all, like, I'm very comfortable about it. I'm actually very, very childlike myself and I love it. I couldn't be any other way and I only want to be more and more free like a child with with the awareness and like that I have as an adult to um, to take responsibility of life. Being aware not to do things carelessly or without consideration of care or love for others. So with regard to other people. But at the same time with all of that taken into account Freeness, carefreeness, and spontane spontaneity. See, life is happening now, and like a child, they see what's happening now. They're sensitive to this moment. Um, the other day on, on a bus, there was many, many uh, children and a few adults behind me, and I had a, a big, I had a glass uh, container of water this size with three glasses of green, really, really green juice. It was a mixture of flaxseed water and spirulina, so it was really dark green. And I just was drinking and I was also putting my fingers into it and rubbing it on my face and rubbing it on my arms. <laughs> Very funny, eh? Harmless though to other people. I'm not hurting anybody at all, but I am doing something that would be considered very weird probably. But the thing is, I'm showing and maybe possibly teaching people, not that I'm trying to teach people, but I'm showing people that uh, it's, you can actually put on your skin what to eat or drink. And that's the healthiest and best way, instead of all these like fake cosmetics which are contaminating the earth. And when you wash it from your face and body, it's contaminating the waterways on the earth. All these chemicals and toxins and pollutants were, were destroying and hurting our beautiful mother earth, or mother nature, as well as hurting ourselves. Putting all these toxins and all that isn't a loving act to, our, to ourselves, our body or other people. Loving yourself is a demonstration of love and care for others, the planet and other people. So I don't know, I kind of just want to talk about children and show the fact that I'm doing something that's considered really weird. Just for the sake of showing that it's possible to show you more what I'm like. Because I think I'm, I'm largely a demonstration of someone who's living in an abundant freedom, abundant joy, freedom, no stress, no worries, taking extremely positive, powerful action to 
towards making a change in the world, a change in myself, a change in my surroundings, connecting with people, touching people, moving people, noticing people, saying hi to people, embracing people, uplifting, inspiring people, giving them something to smile about and to go home and back to their work happier about. And at the same time, being take, someone taking responsibility for their actions and their thoughts and their words and using them to the, tapping into the, as much power as possible as we have. Most of us only probably tap into a tiny percentage of 1% of our power and possibilities and capabilities and capacities. So I just want to keep hiring and hiring my power. I know I'm a, a massively powerful being and I don't want to be living in fear and constraints of how other people are like judging me. I want to be a demonstration of light and freedom and what's possible. I want to keep expanding myself and I want you to do the same thing. <laughs> of course I do, why wouldn't I? It'd be crazy not to know. We all, I want everyone to shine and shine the light that they are. I oh, know, it's so beautiful, I want to show you what I'm looking at. One other thing, I don't expect or necessarily want everyone listening, anyone, you right now, you know, to think that I think that you should be saying hi to all the strangers all the time. I don't do it all the time, only sometimes, or every day, yeah, but I, I think I have that type of personality and I know everyone has their unique personalities and their unique sharings. Really the message I want to say, hey my friend, good morning. Really the point I'm trying to make is that we um, just become awake in the moment a bit more and see what's happening around us, to see the people and to open up to the people a bit more and embrace them. Even if it isn't in an energetic, hey my friend, or whatever. Which I think is lovely, by the way, but just to open our hearts and the inside to people at the very least. <laughs> my wallet. Sorry, my wallet. It's like bandy. It's very old. Made of hemp. Made out of hemp. A bag. My alfalfa. Organic alfalfa. Anyway, my bus is coming. I might miss it, but I better go, okay? Lots of love. Peace with you. Have a nice day.